Today we're back with another video and um it's on this thing. You guys haven't even seen this thing yet. This is uh, a go-kart I've got when I used to actually work somewhere. And it's all beat the crap as you can tell. We got this and And uh we got a whole bunch of things to do. Well, already time to pull the engine because it gotta come out and because i gotta get to the side cover to be able to fix this to fix this right here so you see this is a uh, big spot of um oh, crap. Uh, silicone because oh yeah we don't worry about the belt either because it uh blew out the side cover gasket I tried to pull uh, one of our lawnmowers back to jump the battery because it was dead. So we got to pull this engine out and I'm putting a Predator 212 on it. Deleted governor. It's actually on the race cart because the race cart engine is actually going back onto the race cart. So uh, before it goes back onto the race cart, I want to um, put new oil. I want to check the valves. And I want to check everything, basically a full service, and then I want to change the gearing. I want to make sure it'll be able to do about 32, because with the other stock with the governor, because it is very gear wrong, so it does about 26 miles an hour. Well, now that we had, as you seen, it went 33, 30 mile an hour plus. That's because I have the wrong gearing on this bike, on that go kart. Well. Now we got oil leaking out this engine, squirting out every five minutes, and now it smokes because I, I put oil in the gas. But we're gonna drain that gas, and we're gonna put some more gas in it. But, uh, it's okay. I actually gave it more power, I don't know why, but this is a, um, a Chinese 196, and I'm actually thinking about this little engine, because it's still a good little engine, on my sister's go-kart, actually. So, uh, I'm gonna put it on my sister's go-kart right there, and I'm gonna put everything back on the go-kart, make it run right. And I'm gonna put this on my sister's go-kart because it's a little one I sick. It's nothing like a 212 where it'll just blow the tires off. It's actually a good size engine for that go-kart, and that's what. So let's stop talking and uh, get to uh, moving this go-kart. <sighs> we do not have no electric start, which it, it does have electric start, but. This one don't have no charging system or nothing. Well, actually, this one does have a charging system. But I'm not putting that on the Predator. Well, I bought it will. Okay, that's weird. That one rock. Oh, yeah. Forward and reverse, baby. It's the best thing. Some sliced bread, bro. So, I think it'll be good. Uh, it is also snorkeled. It's not all around the bass, but it's also running very rich. This is good karma. I'm gonna buy another exhaust for it. If I have a, uh, I'm gonna probably. Okay. End up building one far with a stock muffler on it, so. It does not like to run. So. We'll see. It's actually running really good, and I don't smell like it's burning no oil, so. That's the go kart frame right there. That one does about 40. That one does about 40 mile an hour plus. Oh, crap. Oh, I might have to 
I'll leave it right here and fix it right here. Smell of burning oil. Perfect. It's perfect, bro. But we got it all back together. We got it all. Why I said back together? I got it parked. So now it's time to get the jack on it. And jack it up, take the tires off, I think. I think. Yeah, we'll take the tires off. And then, uh, take the clutching off, because I gotta fix the clutching, because it sticks. I gotta put some grease in it. Don't do that, by the way. You, you, you'll die if you do that. I don't know if you'll die, but it's not good for it. But I'll put it. Probably just needs oil. But that's good. I gotta jack. We're gonna jack it up. So, it was very hard. To get that this little engine out of there, and as you can see right here where I put my stuff, you see that we had blow, blew off the um, the cover gasket, and it started to leak up here too around the governor arm. So it, it was called time for it to stop with this engine. So it was very hard to make sure we didn't leave no tools out, but it was very hard to get it off the actual go kart itself because of these this bolt right here. To where it actually had to force me to get a, a vice grip to be able to, uh, like a needle nose vice grip, get me a vice grip onto here to hold that bolt down. And I'm suspecting that's how they had to tighten it too. But we're going to try to transfer everything to the engine, even the flywheel. Uh, maybe. I don't know because it has an electric start here. So I don't think we'll be able to do any of that, any of the. Uh, like my needle and all that uh, good stuff. Uh, the magnet, or of course, magnet. So, as you can see, look, we got a little charging system down in there. See a little charging system. You see we got the toothed gear, which actually could come off, so we probably could use that uh, flywheel. We probably could use the flywheel, even though we got the gear on it. Uh, just can't use an electric start. Uh, now we did, as you see, we do have governor issues. We did have governor issues uh, where it would not idle and this engine never ran that great. It would always stall. It would uh, just not like to run good. It, it would not run good at all. So now we got it here and we got it back together uh, off. And now we can actually put this on her little go-kart. My sister's little go-kart right there, that frame. And um, actually get it on this frame and get it kind of running better. Um, that way it'll be able, and then we'll probably be able to get, ah, probably be able to put an electric start on this, uh, a battery on there, and do an electric start, do a battery box, do an electric start go kart, so that way, because it does take off, you're on the go kart, and you're not, like, on the outside, and it takes off, and you're done. So, this little engine, that little engine will fit, be perfect for this little go kart. Uh, it should fit, a, a Predator 212 gas tank should fit. On this, like I said, it used to be some stuff of clutch. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, it, it will work perfect on this, uh, go kart frame. And I'm actually gonna put the tire back on. Let me. Boom! This CUT clutch right here, if you. Yeah. It's not good. Not good. So. Uh, see the belt is kind of frayed off and I do have pictures of the belt and the numbers of the belt I'm going to take actually a video of that right here right, there you go broke up the race car's exhaust and you about that um, but the engine runs good and everything else is great it just it's not as fast because the clutch isn't engaging fast enough and um i think it would run better uh with a brand new belt it would go a little faster with a brand new belt and i think it would be good 
to be a-okay and for a little riding we're gonna fix the exhaust of course i'm gonna try to make it go to like i'm gonna show you like come out here go down and come back right here with a muffler so that way it's kind of quieter but it's a um a chinese muffler so it's definitely good enough for performance um and good enough flow uh so we're definitely going to create something just like that uh but we don't know how we're going to do that just yet but all i know is that i need this belt and however much it is i will fix it because dude this go-kart is pretty cool i like this go-kart uh, it's good to run around the yard we're gonna make it a little quieter so that way it, it's just quiet and not i'm not just gonna like it is right here but we are gonna make this thing a little quieter but it is bigger than the other engine but it fit it uh it, it fit no uh, we're gonna go ahead turn off the fuel and uh i think it needs to be a little faster than 27. Now, it could be gearing, like I said, it's only geared for a certain amount of speed, so uh, we could re-gear it and uh, make it a little faster. Now, I do gotta go close our shop, but we could make it a little faster. We could make it just a hair faster, so that way we'll get into it more, depth into it after a while. But, I think it's gonna be raining soon, I don't know. But uh, I got this done today, and um, I don't understand why it's not too fast. You guys know the reason? Comment that down below. This go course should be holding butt, like, probably 30. Uh, and not topping out, because it has no governor, if you think about it. Like it. Hitting something. To, you know, I might just order another carburetor for it. Um, like a better carburetor. I think that's kind of the problem. How do I gain more throttle out of it, though? That's all I can go. I can't rev higher than what I got. Um, that's how I'd buy a Makuni carburetor, which I could do, but they're like $60. I'm not buying a Makuni carburetor for about $60. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're going to try to get the go-kart back up and going for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my god, I fix it up. Probably gonna repaint it, do some other stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Oh, hold on. Okay.